Are you still upset about the dual immersion program? Yes, it's so unfair. This program would really help the kids embrace their heritage. You know, one time I picked Benicio up from soccer practice and I heard some other kids mocking his name. This program would offer him something I can't give him. More self-confidence, the opportunity to feel a sense of pride in his name, a great boost on his transcript for when he applies to early admission at Oberlin. Oh, is you with Oberlin. Dinner time! Hey, mister, that's strike two. You pop off like that again, we're gonna cross swords. Now, I'm all about changing Gotham for the better, and if I'm lying, may God strike you down. <laughs> You know the rules. There's no TV during dinner. I think we just saw someone die. Sure did, buddy. So, say we couldn't get into the dual immersion program. What's another thing you guys are interested in, huh? Uh, what about art? Or soccer? It's never too early to get into kinesiology, Benicio. Uh, can I just go play Ben? I don't want to stand out in school. Nelly is gonna get a tire iron straight into the- Anthony, no! Trust me. I know how to deal with arch enemies. I am cooking up something extra special for Debbie. Nice parking spot. So, you're a VIP, huh? Uh, yes I am, because I have a very important job. And I need a very important spot. What do you want? Listen, I just wanted to show my appreciation for you and all you do. It's Arroz con Pollo, from Mi Casa to Su Casa. Mm-hmm. And is that an ethnic dish, or...? It sure is ethnic. Speaking of racist, I couldn't help but think about the dual immersion program and how amazing it would be if you could pull some strings. Oh, I see. So you and your strong, smelling dish are trying to bribe me? Is that it? Is that what you're trying to do? Bribe me? Strong smelling? No! <laughs> it's just that there are only 24 spots in the program for all of Gotham's school district. And I know you have friends on the committee. Mm. Oh, okay. So you're threatening me then? Didn't you used to blow things up? <laughs> no! No! But that was over a year ago. That's the old me. The only thing I'm blowing up here is your waistline with my yummy dish. Oh, I think it's so cute that you're out here trying to do stuff for your kids. It's adorable. <laughs> I so wish I could help you, but it's just out of my hands. And I guess it's out of your hands, too. <laughs> Whose hands would you say it's in? Well, the city sets the budget, so I'd take it up with them. Or the mayor. Oh, but no, I guess he just died. Oh, boo-hoo. Well, I guess you're just going to have to go down to City Hall and file a complaint.